Right, and I want to do one more exercise. This is an individual exercise. I understand some post-it notes on each table. So I want each, each of you to get one or two post-it notes. Now, this is the task. This is not conferring. This, isn't to, this is individually. Individually, I want you to do the following exercise. I want you to imagine, in your mind's eye, in your imagination, I want you to imagine the best team you can imagine, that you can think of. Uh, no, I tell you what, let's make it a virtual team. It doesn't even have to be real. But if in your imagination you could think, what does it take to be the best team in the world? Like the Avengers. What would it be? No, no, sorry, I don't, sorry the, the task is not to tell me what the team is. The task is if you had one word to describe why that team is so fantastic. Was it their pride? Was it their passion? Was it their desire? Was it their, if you had one word, what would that word be? Can you write that down on a post-it? And when you've done that, can you hand it to one person on the table and I'll pick them up? <laughs> right. We're talking about ambitious goals. A lot of businesses use sporting analogies as a kind of metaphor, don't they? But they don't work. If you really want to learn from the world of sport, you're going to peak every four years, you'd have an off-season, and you'd be on oranges at half-time. And you do none of those things. And I thought about it, but there are, and so when I did my Masters, I thought, well, there are some things about sport which are true for people, because the raw material of sport is people. That's all we have. And so dealing with their emotions, dealing with their goal-setting, dealing with their ambitions, dealing with their dreams is a big gig. And it was around coaching, culture, not leadership, followership. These are the things that sport can teach business. It's not what, it is about followership. It's not what the company can do for you. What can you do for the company? The hallmark of very top teams is not leadership. It's about coaching. It's not necessarily getting external coaches. Looking after each other, helping each other. You know, how many times do you see one of your colleagues, you know, floundering a little bit? Did you put your arm around them and help them out? Okay, we've all done it. No. And culture, what kind of culture do you want? How much pride do you have in your organisation? Would you, if your children applied to work here, would you, be proud, would you encourage them to do so? How, you know, that should, you run this company, this should be the first company you want your kids to apply to. Because you run it. You should be so proud. You say, don't go anywhere else, come to my company, it's fantastic. You'll love it. We look after each other, we make everyone secure, we challenge each other, we, we, we help each other when, when we fail. That's what you should be doing, surely. You want ambitious goals, I'm going to throw some out to you. Think about pride. So this, this is your version of the best team in the world. When you work with anybody, you can only work with mental, technical, physical. There's only three levers you can pull. So this is the best team in the world. Commitment, where would that go? Aligned, where would that go? Passion, where would that go? Uh, aligned again. Love, where would that go? <laughs> hey, steady. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> it's ruined my whole gig now. <laughs> Moving on, just breathe, breathe, breathe. Trust. Togetherness. Togetherness. Confidence. Belief. Together, aligned, determination, trust. Do you want me to go on? Okay, call it physical. Purposeful. Belief again. I can go through the whole lot if you want. Yeah, but this is a key point. This is the key point. Your technical ability and your physical ability won't make you win. They'll stop you losing, but they will not make you win. Winning is something that happens between your ears. Winning is an attitude. Setting big goals that beat the competition is an attitude. Your technical and physical stuff will follow. It will absolutely it will follow. I honestly believe, you know, whether or not you think you can or whether or not you think you can't, you're probably right. And that is so true. You ask any elite sportsman, and they have self-doubts. They have, they have the same voice as anybody else has. 
It's their response to them. They don't indulge in them. We all have that bad days. We all feel anger. We all feel depressed occasionally. The difference is they don't allow themselves to indulge in those emotions. They let them pass through and they work on the emotions which are most beneficial to themselves.